email campaigns, SMS campaigns, landing pages, and surveys, all with Akumba Mail. And best of all, it's a lifetime deal. So let's go check it out. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is George, and this is Akumba Mail. Main focus of Akumba Mail is the email feature, but they also have an SMS feature, landing pages, and surveys, all within the lifetime deal. Now, currently, as of this video, lifetime deal is live, and you can grab it right now. Best of all, they have a 60-day money-back guarantee, so you can go ahead and test it, and if you don't like it, go ahead and refund it. Now, the current structure for the lifetime deal is the following one. So, License Tier 1 will get you access to 20,000 email cents per month. And one of the things I do like about this is that it doesn't limit you on the amount of contacts. So, you can have different lists out there, different contacts, and have 100, 200,000, but you get the limit for the send out emails. Maybe you don't need to email each one of these every single month. So, maybe License Tier 1 does sound attractive. But if you need to send more emails, I recommend you jump into License Tier 2, 3, or all the way up to 4. Now, you also get campaign previews per month. Those are limited depending on the plan. And you get access to the rest of the features. So basically, if you're good to go with License Tier 1, you can grab this for a really low price. Best of all, a lifetime deal, okay? So Akumba Mail, is it complex to use? And it's not, okay? So you got the main feature, which is the emails feature right here. And I'm on that section. And you can start a campaign right away. So if I go to campaigns, I can go ahead and go through the process of creating one right now with you just for testing purposes. So if I go to a new campaign, I can go ahead and start a newsletter, A-B testing, autoresponder, RSS, etc. But I'll go ahead and use a newsletter. And I'm just going to use testing information for all of this. And you can connect your own email account via SMTP without any issues. So right now I'm using for demo purposes, just basic information. You can add your own customized Google Analytics, configure for links for your campaign and subdomain right now is using a Kuba Bell. It's not using the custom domain because I haven't set it up for this demo account. Okay. First step next, go ahead and select the list that you have. And those lists will be available over here. You can add your own list manually through a form, through a website that you can embed. And I'll show you that in a bit. Okay. Select the template right now. And I'm going to use this one. Let me go ahead and set this up to say random information there and you can create templates over here so create templates and then use them later on in the campaigns okay so that's going to load up okay here we go the template is now loading and since we are using a template it loads in the template but we can go ahead and edit every single aspect of this template now this is great because you can build a template and just change things like for example you can change the date the percentage of a discount and just change that template really easily they have eight ai for writing you can change every single detail from here really easily by selecting it you got rows to improve the template that you have already. You don't have to stick with the template that you first selected, the settings, and you can go ahead and test drive this one, okay? Once you're good to go, hit next, and we're gonna jump into the campaign sending out settings. Again, you can go ahead and edit every single aspect of this right here. You got the option to send the test. You got your campaign sending settings right here, so you can send it right away, or you can schedule it. So you have those available options. Now that's like a basic overall campaign feature for Akuma Mail. Now what I do like about it is that they have automation. Now, this is where I actually find it more interesting and what I like to use. For example, if I want to create a new automation, it's really easy. Go ahead and create one really fast and go ahead and do the startive point, which is the trigger. So for the trigger, you can select a list that you have created here and you have all your lists available there. Okay. So in this case, I've selected, selected the group list and then I'm going to select the trigger. How is this automation going to work to be automatic? Okay. So you got the new subscribers on the list. That means that as soon as the subscriber is added, to this list, it's going to start off the automation. Okay. Another one would be a specific date. So if you want to do an automation that kicks off as for this specific date, you can go ahead and do it that way. New subscriber on the segment that's also available. So if you designate segments for different emails that jump in, you can send it just to different specific segments. Okay. In this case, I'm going to use a new subscriber list and I'm going to not apply it to the existing emails on that list. So just the new ones that are coming in. Okay. And then the next step, I'm going to set up this option. So you have these available options for the automation. But in this case, I'm going to delay first, okay? So that means that when someone is added to the list, I don't want it to kick off the automation right away. I want it to pause a bit, okay? In this case, I'm going to designate days and I'm going to set two days, okay? So I'm going to apply this and that is going to delay for two days. And the next step will depend on what you want to use. In this case, if you want to send out an email campaign, you can use template. If you want to send out an SMS, use SMS right here. If you want to send them to a different list, a different segment, do so here. In this case, you can also do a fork. So if you want to decide if you want to separate who to send something 
or not, go ahead and use this. For example, I'll hit edit. And in this case, for example, for the rules, for the field, the email, I could say if it contains and I'll say Gmail, right? And I'll go ahead and apply it. And if it's true, if it's a Gmail, I can go ahead and do something or just uh, do nothing in this case. And if it's false, if it's not an email, uh, a Gmail, for example, I can go ahead and make it continue. So I can go ahead and send out a template. So you can see here, I can go ahead and edit the details right there and send out a template. So this automation will stick automatic. So that means with the new user on the list, it's going to automatically kick this off. So in this case, two days for delay, then if it's not a Gmail, it's going to send out an email. And it's just an example of giving you an idea of how you can use the automation. Okay. Then we have a list available. So in list, I find it interesting because it's not just about creating a list. There's more details to this. So I'll just hit test right here. I'm going to create it. Let's go to add subscribers. And for this particular list that I've just created test, there's different options available. So this is not common in different email marketing systems. So it's different in this case. So in this case, I can obviously import with all these options available, the email list that I have somewhere else. I can also create fields. I can also create a form that's tied to the specific list. So that means that if I want to embed this on a site or share a link that is possible with Akuma Mail. So if I want to embed something, I'll go ahead and select this one, which is a sidebar. And I'll just say uh, test, go ahead and select it, hit next. And then I can select one of the templates available. I'll just go ahead and select this one and I can go ahead and add the details here. And then it'll take me to editing that section that I can embed on a website. So just like that, you can create lists and do a whole lot of things with them. Now, aside from that, you can do more. So let me jump into the list settings. And in this section, aside from the forms that we've just saw, you got your segments, you got your settings for this, you got notifications. You got audiences, which is in the pro version. You can do a Facebook login to add it to the audience and advanced options here. For example, list optimization. You can actually optimize a list to be clean at a certain specific time. For example, for different things. For example, a subscriber was shown as soft bounce for the last campaign. So if this happens, I can go ahead and analyze the list and remove subscribers. Or for example, if they haven't opened the email, we can go ahead and just remove the subscribers and it's going to automatically analyze the list and then decide if I want to remove. So just like that, there, there's no bounces right now. I haven't sent out any campaigns, but you can clean the list in that sense. So if you want to well, clean it, that's the way to do it. Okay. Then you can do also clean low quality emails from the list. That's also available by clicking on the clean option. So that's for the email campaigns. And at the end, you got the reports. In this case, I haven't created any email campaigns out there, but you can create reports based on that. And again, you get all the analytics for bounce, for click through rate, the all bits, the unopens, you get all those details. Okay. Then there's SMTP settings available right here. You can configure it right there. You got your templates, webhooks, reports. Then you got your SMS settings. If you want to set that up for using for SMS, you got your website to create landing pages. So straight from a Cuba mail, you can go ahead and create a landing page by clicking on edit. Or in this case, I'll just go ahead and preview this. And here's the landing page that I've just created really quickly on a Kumba mail. So they're hosting it and I can use my own custom domain. That means that I don't need to purchase a hosting somewhere else, a month to month payment, because I can use a Kumba mail for the lifetime deal. So take advantage of those options available in here. Okay. And you got your websites, you got your reports, and then you can also create surveys with a Kumba mail. So if I go create a new survey, go ahead and create it really quickly here. And you got your details here. Then you can go ahead and add your questions to the survey. So in this case, you got these available options for the questions. You can create them right here, create it, and then go share it. So you get all of that with Akuma Mail lifetime deal. So I definitely recommend that you check it out. The current pricing is this one right here. It's a little bit blurry there, but you get the idea of the current pricing structure for this lifetime deal. Now prices will increase in the future. So if you want to take advantage of this lifetime deal, do buy it now. And don't forget there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. So buying it is not a risk at all. Well, I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.